Hello learners. In this lecture, we will see few other commands that we have. Now, whatever things we have done it here, let us say I want to prepare a report out of this. So what I need to do, I need to go to file and in the option you have a create report. Click here and say show project report. So if you click on that, what will happen? The entire report will be generated. Like what is the size of your column you have used and what is the size of the beam that you are used. So all the things, what is the loads that were applied, everything will be shown here. So can you see here, the report is created. And if you try to go through that, no. So whatever load you have applied in a terrace floor, what is the load? Uh, if you want, let me try to, yeah. So you can see what is the size you are used. Everything, you get it in the form of a report. And based on that, you can try to get an idea what all things you used it here, right? So let me close that. Similarly, if I go to file, you have a project information capture picture. And if you want to capture the picture of everything for the, of the entire screen and all, you can try to make use of these buttons and you can do it. Yeah. Now coming to the edit options, we have, we have seen most of the things in the uh, edit options and uh, rest things we'll see the edit frames and the edit shells we'll try to see a bit later. And coming to the view option, it's the same thing. Whatever we have it here, 3D plan elevation, it's the same thing we have it here, right? Yeah. And coming to the define, we already seen how to define the material, the section property. Spring properties we use when we want to model the uh, soil subgrade and all. It's a very uh, advanced level. We don't try to get into that. Diaphragms we use in the earthquake analysis. Pier labels we use for uh, uh, shear walls for the vertical elements. Span drill we use for horizontal for deep beams. And uh, the other things, mass sources we use for earthquake analysis. P delta also, if you want P delta analysis, again, it's a advanced level model cases we use for res response spectrum load patterns we are used then load cases and load combinations we have seen that coming to the functions here we have response spectrum and time history again response spectrum and time history is for earthquake analysis this is uh, both are your dynamic analysis this time history is used when we have real earthquake data and if you don't have a real earthquake data then you can make use of a response spectrum now coming to the draw option in draw option most of the things we have seen right and there is nothing much here coming to the select we have seen that assign we have seen most of the things how to apply the joints how to apply the frame the shell uh, then coming to the tendons this is used for precast structures right now we are not doing that uh, coming to the analyze we already seen how to run the analysis this option and these options are one and the same and coming to the display we already seen how these loads have to be displayed yeah so these things are done now coming to the short you can see some of the shortcut buttons here these are called as replicate the whatever we used to go to edit and do the replicate it's the same shortcut we have it here similarly if you want to divide the beams and all this is x to joints to frame this option you have it here else you can you can go to edit and from edit frames you can try to make use of these options similarly you can see it here what is written here extrude frame frame to shells so these options uh, whatever you have it here the same shortcut is given here right so in this way whatever we have it you know the same shortcut is given here based on that we have to make use of it right yeah and similarly if you want to see the bending moment what we have to do we have to run the model first to see the bending moment let me quickly do that i'm running the model yeah once you run the model you have to click on this option called uh, display bending moment you can click on you can let me show it here i'll click on this i'll click on the bending moment and i'll say moment 33 i'll say apply to that so you can see these are the bending moment similarly if you want to see the uh, torsions in the beam you can click on this and you can see there's a torsion if you want to see the shear force click on shear 22 and all these are my shear forces what i can see right so in this way what are options you want you can try to see from here Yeah, and if you want to see what is the uh, load coming for the footing, you have to go to the bottom level, that is to the foundation. And if you click this option, this is called as display support or spring reaction. And here, uh, click on the combinations of 1.5 dead load plus live load, and we'll click on FZ, that is a vertical reaction, and I'll say apply. So it has to be in tabulated form, I'll say apply. So can you see here, all these are the forces that is coming on the footing and for this load, for this design, for this load, we have to design our footings. Those things we'll try to see in the next lecture, how to design them, yeah. And uh, other than that, most of the things I've explained it here. There are a lot of uh, theory to be understood since we have a very short time of two hours, I can't explain each and everything, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Now let me quickly unlock the model and show you how, how to draw the shear walls. 
so what you can do is let me go to one of the floor and let us say i want to draw a shear wall here so i'll take option you can see option here this is a shear wall option select on that as of now let me take it as wall one only and let me draw shear wall in this way okay i'm trying to draw it normal way yeah so once this is done okay can you see the shear wall yeah it's taking a bit time okay you can see the shear wall has been created here let me make use of all stories and do that i'll click on all stories and let me uh, take that option again this is the option for shear wall and let me try to draw a shear wall somewhere here yeah i'll draw it in this way on the right side if you observe there the shear wall has been created and can you see a wall has been created here right so this is how a shear wall has to be done similarly if you want to create an opening in the slab you have to click on the slab option let me click on the slab option and instead of the property you have to go to the openings yeah there's something called opening click on that and now let us say i want to create an opening in this slab in this way in this way here and here yeah can you see there is an opening created in the slab and everywhere there is an opening created in the slab so in this way you can make use of these options and create the openings wherever it is required yeah and uh, that's it so most of the th things most of the options we have covered it here so in the next lecture we will try to see how the detailing of this particular model has to be done i hope these things are cleared up to here uh, we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you